Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, love reading. Uh, is it a good idea to reach out? This is going to be for Leo, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for April 2022. So these are the Leo people that are currently dealing with someone that they are in no contact with. We're going to see if it's a good idea for you to reach out. Um, and then what will happen if you did reach out to this person? Uh, so just apply this to your own unique situation. You know, even though this is love focused, this could be with anybody. Uh, feel free to switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message uh, didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Leo, let's get started. Tell me about the person that Leo is currently in no contact with. Contact with. Is it a good idea for Leo to reach out to this person? Is it a good idea for Leo to reach out to this person? Is it a good idea for Leo to reach out to this person for uh, April 2022? Uh, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. Okay. All right, I got the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with the twin flame here. Okay, let's see what we have. We have the moon in the four of pentacles. Well, if you're looking for this person to reveal their deepest hidden emotions towards you, their secrets, I feel like this person's not going to share it. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, energy with that moon. Okay, we have judgment in the seven of swords here. We have someone here that's being awakened here. Someone here is going through like an awakening in regards to... Um, you know, a lie, a secret here, or that someone here is realizing what they did was pretty crappy, okay? Um, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy, with the Hierophant here in the world. So Taurus energy here. You know, whoever this is, I feel like this person is definitely seeking some sort of advice or help from someone here regard in regards to how um, they went about in treating you, okay? How they kept secrets here from you or how they lied to you. I feel like someone here is definitely on a, some sort of, they're doing some sort of soul searching right now, okay? In regards to this connection. And I feel like we have someone here that's awakening to basically how they treated you. I feel like someone here is hoping that, you know, you could forgive them. I feel like we have someone here that's definitely taking some sort of responsibility. But the thing is, I feel like this person is just not ready to speak. Okay. So like I said, you can switch the roles if you want. This could be you. This could be someone else. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Okay, we have the Seven of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles here. We have someone here that keeps... That has kept a lot of things that, uh, hidden from you. I feel like this person hasn't really told you a lot about their life. You know, uh, you know what what their story is, but I feel like we have someone here that's hopeful that this could still come back together, or that someone here is still holding on to hope that you and uh, them could have a ten of pentacles here. Um, judgment. We have the star, seven of swords, and then the six of pentacles here. I feel like this person took a lot from you, not just materially, but I feel like energetically too. We have the star, Aquarius energy. I feel like someone here is finally seeing the light here. Finally seeing or understanding that the way that they were behaving was really crappy. I mean, you could have been behaving this way, okay? Or your person, like I said, you can switch the roles if you want. And then we have the six of pentacles here. I feel like someone here was definitely really generous with their energy. Yeah, I do feel like there was a lot of stress and anxiety here because this person could have been very in and out of your 
in and out of your life. This person could have been non-committal. You might have been dealing with someone here that was that got bored very easily, but they, they never really told you, okay? Tell me about the Hierophant. That's too many. Actually, no. Uh, we have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Six of Cups here. We have someone here that's missing you, I feel. Yeah. You know, someone here that's missing you. Someone here might be looking for a reconciliation. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? And the Six of Swords. This is interesting. I feel like this person's not ready to talk. I do feel like this person is, you know, looking for a second chance. Um and hoping that this is going to come back together again. Uh, but I feel like this person is trying to do what's best for themselves and do what's best for you. Because I feel like this person no longer wants to torture you. That's what I'm getting here, Leo. It seems like this person is does not want to leave you, but I feel like this is, this is what's best for them and what's best for you is to m move on from this. Uh, what will happen if Leo reached out to the person that they are currently in no contact with? What will happen if Leo reached out to the person that they are currently in no contact with? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for April 2022. We have the Hermit, Virgo Energy, and the Eight of Swords. Someone here is realizing that they're not really proud of what they did here. We have someone here that's definitely soul searching, okay? We have someone here um, who is finally doing the right thing, not just for you, but also for themselves by moving on. Because like I said, I feel like this person doesn't want to torture you any longer, okay? Um, okay. We have the Death card in the Nine of Cups. Okay, so death and the nine of cups here we have someone here that's going through like a major spiritual transformation you know i feel like someone here might be dealing with their karma here you know i do feel like we have someone here that wants a ton of cups and a ton of pentacles here with you but i feel like this person definitely has a lot of work to do okay justice Ten of Cups. Like I said, this person could be facing their karma. This person also could be realizing that, you know, this is what they truly want with you. And I feel like they, they, uh, um, seems like they're genuinely sorry about what they've done here. But like I said, I feel like they're not ready to talk. Tell me about this, um, hermit. Tell me about this hermit. swords wow seems like what's happening here what they've done is i feel like they've really hurt themselves here too i mean someone here is really regretting what they did here leo tell me about the eight of swords you know the three of pentacles I feel like what this person really wants is to work on getting this back on track. Tell me about the death card. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Nine of Cups, and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like this person wants to do everything that they could possibly can to make things right with you, but I feel like this person has to at least you know, sort of learn their lessons here and clear out their karma. Because I feel like this person does not want to put any more stuff onto you, whatever they're carrying around with. Uh, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Tell me about the Justice card. Four of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Magician here. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups and the Magician. Whoever this is, this person's going through something big. Yeah, this person's going through something big. Yeah, I feel like they have someone here that's really yearning for this connection back. 
I feel like we have someone here that's really kicking themselves in the head. You know, I feel like they're just not ready to talk and I feel like they're trying to do the right thing to not basically torture you anymore, but they still want to be with you. Okay, so um, Leo, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.